Hi everyone, Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Say, so yeah, I was having a discussion with a person on LinkedIn and uh, they were telling me that they ha have a gym that they go to and they've been trying to convince this gym owner that they probably need to do a better job of cleaning. They uh, apparently, uh, you know, go in there and they, a lot of people work out, sweat and so on and so forth, but, uh, and also, they bring in dogs, so the dog the dog hair is getting everywhere, and uh, so they're kind of concerned that uh, you know the place isn't very clean. And uh, so I suggested, well, why don't you just uh, do some ATP testing on some surfaces to prove to this uh, gym owner that uh, whatever method methods they're currently using just aren't working. So that's what I said: is uh, you know use an ATP uh, test, and what you do is you take this uh, swab and you would swab an area. Oh, about four inches or uh, four inches square or so. Uh, you may do a countertop, a sink, uh, you know, uh, might be a, a faucet, uh, you know, it could be various surfaces. But you do a test in each, each area with this swab. So what this swab does is it, uh, it measures the, uh, anid what is it, anadone triphosphate. I probably slaughtered that, but uh, essentially what that is is the universal energy mo molecule found in all animals, plant, bacterial, yeast, and mold cells. So that's what this is going to uh, measure. So once we take our swab uh, on a surface, then we would use our ATP meter, which is this device right here. So what we would do is we'd actually take our swab after we've swabbed the area, and then we would put it in this device and then close it, press the button, and then we'd have a reading here that would show up. And, uh, you know, you have uh, acceptable readings and so on and so forth. But that's what I suggested that they do. I mean, this here doesn't lie. Once you do a test, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, if you've got some high levels, uh, then you know that the surfaces aren't very clean. And uh, you would surely think that that would open up the eyes to, of this gym owner to maybe uh, use different uh, procedures or practices to clean the gym. Um, you know, I would be concerned too if I were going into a gym and, you know, uh, obviously everybody's getting sweaty, hair's all over, and then you got dog hair coming in. Um, you know, with just the visual appearance of the gym looking dirty, I'd be concerned. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, for anybody that's not familiar with ATP, that's what that is. It's just uh, using this meter with the swab uh, to swab an area and do some testing to, uh, to measure the, the molecules is what it is. Well, hopefully, I find, uh, hopefully you find this helpful. And until next time, let's keep it clean.